Did you know there's all sorts of lab scope training inside the lab scope itself on these snap-on tools? They're called top-level menus, and it's inside the guided component tests. And we go down here to the menu button and hit top-level menus. It gives us a bunch of little things. So first one I want to go to is how to. So here we have 10-minute electronics classes, 15-minute ignition classes, no start basics, test tips. How about snap-on automotive theory? Not even diagnostic related stuff. Air conditioning, how's that work? How's the DPF system work on a diesel? How do hybrid vehicles work? Tire pressure monitoring systems, all sorts of stuff in there. And they're just little classes that you can go in and take. So let's say test tips. How do I do an alternator ripple test? Go in there. Oh look, here's how I hook it up. Here's what it's supposed to look like. Back up, how about another one? How about using cursors in the scope? Measuring using that. So here's how we're gonna measure using the cursors in there. That's scope training right there. Back up a few screens. How about uh, terms and definitions? What do we mean when we say delta time? There's a definition right there. How about uh, Ohm's law? Maybe I forgot my Ohm's law today and I need a quick little refresher course on that. That's all in there. Uh, how's amperage work? What's up with that? Um, how about no start basics? And then the next one is, on the top level menus, power user tests. So if I click on that, how about some current probe tests? How about dual channel tests? Pressure transducer tests? How about automatic transmission line pressure? Go in there. It's going to tell us how to hook it up, and it's going to set it all up for us. All that stuff is in every single Snap-on lab scope, and that'll really give you a good leg up when you're going to try and use the scope in your diagnostics.